Well, he's become world famous as Sean the Sheep. Do we really have to do this story? Yes. We do. Okay. <laughs> Missing for six years and then discovered on a Tasmanian farm a few days ago. Sean was thought to be the world's woolliest sheep, but today his reign came to an end as he was well and truly fleeced. Uh. The not-so-jolly Jumbuck spent six years evading the clippers, but the barber, in the form of gun-shearing instructor Jack Monks, finally caught up with Sean. Oh, he hasn't hardly moved. He's a true gentleman, this young fella. Quite scary. I was a bit worried that he wouldn't cope, but he seems to be coping OK. Believed to have been born at a vineyard on the state's east coast, it appears to have escaped during a bushfire and had been on the run ever since. Extraordinarily good, considering. Um, it's obviously the sheep's been on natural pasture all for its six years as it's wandered around. The late winter fleecing left the merino shaky. You don't take it all off, off them because it's going to be just such a shock to him. It's like you having three overcoats on and taking them off and walking outside and doing ice bucket challenge, isn't it? So he's going to feel it for a few days. With his welfare taken care of, it was time for the weigh-in. The Tasmanian was attempting to take the title from a New Zealand escapee called Shrek, which was carrying a whopping 27 kilograms after six years in the wilderness. Sean was fleeced by a couple of kilos. It would have been nice to have it, but the most important thing is that he's got the fleece off and now we can concentrate on making sure that he's well and survives it. The fleece will now be prepared and placed under a dome, which will tour the agricultural show circuit for the public to enjoy. A little bit will be spun, but the rest will return here to the farm where Sean was finally shorn. Lauren Day, ABC News in the Tasmanian Midlands. Well, the weather system that brought heavy 